Presents the wonderful world of color. Tonight, from the wonderful world of Disney, we present Atta Girl Kelly. Tonight, we continue with our story of Kelly, a German shepherd, bred and born at the Seeing Eye Puppy Farm in Morristown, New Jersey. In the beginning, there didn't seem to be anything special about her, just a normal, playful, bumbling pup like all the others in the litter. Then she was farmed out to Danny Richards, a young member of the 4-H club. Think she likes me? Sure, Danny. All dogs want someone to love them. Oh, I do, more than anything. There on a farm, she stayed a year, learning to love her first master. She lived a plain, ordinary dog's life. <laughs> She grew up in a typical family, and most of all, she learned that this was home. Hey, you something else in your stocking, Kelly? From Dad. Well, it's Christmas, isn't it? Look, Kelly, your own personal bone. Christmas yet. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't you uh, forget something? I did? Yeah. I know I put it here somewhere. Yeah. Here it is. Thanks, Dad. Thanks a lot, Dad. Well, there's some good stuff in there, especially the chapter on sheep. Danny, take this to the kitchen for me. Come on, Kelly. Honestly, honey, animal husbandry for Christmas? Well, the dog has to go back to the C&I come spring. Time he started thinking about his next project. I'm just trying to make it easier. He knew he'd have to give Kelly up someday. Well, that time is almost here. But he'll miss her so. I suppose, but he can't keep her forever. But then there came the day when Kelly was returned to the Seeing Eye to begin her regular training. Those happy days where their first master were over, part of the past. Now Mr. Durand, the director of training, must pass on her and assign her to a new master. Well, that would be young Matt Howell taking on his first Seeing Eye assignment. Partings are never easy, and it was a trying moment for both boy and dog. It just takes a little time. Well, he'll handle it. Bye now. Nice meeting you. See you.
Kelly's story began just as a lot of dog stories begin, with a pup and a boy becoming pals. But it won't end that way, for Kelly's case is different. Soon, she'll have to learn to love a new master. The second part of our story is called Dog of Destiny. And it begins as Matt tries to make friends with her. Hello there, Kelly. How you doing, girl? Huh? Yeah, I know, I know. You miss Danny, don't you? Well, you don't have to worry, girl. Things will get better. If you let him. About feeding time, Mr. Howe. All right. Thanks. Come on, girl. Come on now. This is the beginning. And there's the end. Kelly's destiny to be eyes for a blind person. In between training, my job, teaching her how to become those eyes. I need six, Carl. Help yourself. Two more coming out. Hey, the natives are restless tonight. The natives are hungry. Here, Carl. Hey, what's on the menu? Same old thing. Carl, I keep telling you, dogs are like people. They gotta have variety. Ain't heard of them complaining. Well, but a really inspired chef would create some new dishes, like, uh, kibble a Oh, um, dog meal sautéed in mushroom. Huh? Come on, use your imagination, Carl. How about more get up and less gab, MacGyver? Oh, yes, sir, sir. Right away, Sergeant. Sounds like Gruber's had a bad day. Yeah, he's having trouble with a couple of his dogs. Hey, when's Duran gonna give you a string? There's some new dogs in quarantine now. Good luck. Hope you get them. Thanks. I like the looks of that Kelly. And there are a couple others, too. But, of course, for now, they have to stay in quarantine until we're sure that they have nothing that will infect the dogs already in training. Hi. Have I got something good for you? Yeah. There you go. That's good stuff, huh? <laughs> you like that, don't you? Here you go. There you are. Here you go. Aren't you hungry? Come on, that's good food. Go, go ahead, eat. Good girl, that's a good girl. Here you go. Good boy. Hi, Kelly girl, how are you? Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. Nothing new about all this. A homesick dog is a dog without an appetite. Yeah, I know. Pretty tough, isn't it? You're just like all the rest of them, pining for somebody who's not here. Come on now, eat up. And you're so right. It is a rough way to start a new life. Come on now. Come on. Now comes inspection by Mr. Duran, our training director, and Mr. Wilson, one of our training supervisors. And no dog show judges ever examined an animal more closely. Now this is Kelly, last year's K litter at the breeding farm. Oh, yes. Brought in yesterday, wasn't she, by that boy, uh, Danny? Danny Richards. She was his 4-H project. And his first dog. Parting with her was very difficult for him. She's a good size and weight. She would appear to have the necessary strength and endurance. Alert, but not skittish. On the surface, very good dog. You agree, Mr. Wilson? Definitely. Best with a lot, I'd say. But beneath the surface, you read the report the boy left? 
fairly standard, except for having run away. Having run away twice, Mr. Wilson. This is the dog we found in town last fall. You, uh, you remember Mr. Howell? Yes, sir. The boy had a fairly reasonable explanation for the second time. Youth can be over-imaginative. Besides, he loves the dog. He wouldn't want it to fail. Well, it seemed a waste to knock her out just because of that. Oh, don't mistake me. The dog's quite acceptable to me, for the moment. No, I'm merely indicating a possible source of trouble, what I feel to be a certain sense of irresponsibility, which, of course, won't do. No, she must be watched closely. Very well, Mr. Howell, thank you. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Duran. I was just, uh, just wondering if, uh, seems to me I'm ready for a string of my own. I thought maybe one of these dogs here... That, uh, will be decided at today's meeting, Mr. Howell. Oh, yes, of course, sir. The vet'll be here in about an hour. Give the dog his shots. Right. Kelly hasn't exactly passed with flying colors, but at least she can begin her seeing eye training. And I bet it's the last thing in the world she cares about right now. A session with a veterinarian is necessary, but it's a rather unhappy moment for the dog. Good girl, now. Good girl, Kelly. Come on. Good girl. Nope. Come on. Be a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Easy now, Kelly. Just take a minute. Just take a minute. Good girl. All right, you hold it steady now, Matt. It's only take a second. Okay. Easy now, Kelly. It's all over now. Hey, Doc, before you go, you look at my new pup. She has an earache, and I got... Hey, grab her! Kelly, come back! Come back here! Mr. Howell. The gate's closed. You can't get loose. Kelly! Kelly! Sorry, Matt. That's all right. I know where she's going. trouble. They might not take you back now. Well, don't worry. We'll find her somehow. She won't go too far. Thanks for the coffee, Mrs. Richards. I'm sorry I bothered you, Mr. Richards. I was sure that dog would come back here. Well, no trouble at all. You know, if you could just wait a few minutes, at least until Danny gets back from school, he, uh, well, he may be able to help you. Well, a few minutes won't matter, I suppose. I've got no other clues. You know, Kelly's my first dog. The first one I've handled right from the beginning. I had such high hopes for her. How do you know you'd be here? Stay. You know, it's, it's funny how you think you got a dog all figured out, and then first thing you know, they'll surprise you with some little stunt you never thought of. No, Kelly. Now's no time for a walk. Rest. You have. 
have to go back, you know. But nothing wrong with waiting till tomorrow, is there? That's what you'd like, wouldn't you, Kelly? Anyway, maybe this whole thing's wrong. Maybe you just aren't cut out to be a seeing eye dog. I'm afraid I have to be going. Well, Danny should be here any minute. Uh, if Kelly was going to turn up, she'd have been here by now. Too bad. She would have been great. I just know it. Then this will affect her chances? Affect them? Kelly has a history of running away. Mr. Duran's already leery of her. I was just hoping I'd get her back before I found out. Maybe you still can. Hey, he found her. Hmm. And himself, I think. Hi, Mr. Hall. Look who came to see me. Ah, uh, Kelly. Here, Kelly, come on. Be a good girl now. Thanks, Danny. Find her, Matt? Yeah, she went to the farm. Too bad you went to all that bother. is unimportant, Mr. Howell. The fact remains that it did happen. The dog ran away, and for the third time. Couldn't we look at it the other way around, Mr. Duran? I mean, Kelly wasn't running away from us as much as she was running to Danny Richards. But after all, she can't be expected to forget him right away. True. But will she ever forget? Well, that's up to us, isn't it? You keep hammering it into us that the whole foundation for seeing eye training is a dog's love for its master. Well, that only works if a dog has a capacity for love and can give it. I feel Kelly just proved that. Now, all we have to do is just transfer that love. All we have to do? You make it sound very simple. I'm sorry, sir. I know it isn't, of course. It's, it's just that I feel Kelly deserves another chance. Obviously. This morning, you asked about a string of your own. You were already scheduled for a pair of dogs. We simply hadn't decided which ones. Any preference? Yes, sir. I, uh... Well, I, I feel that you'd know best. Well, let's see. Robin, the yellow Labrador, should do well with you. As for the other, since you seem to feel so strong about her, the shepherd, Kelly. Thank you very much. I'm not doing you any favor, Mr. Howell. At least not with the shepherd. No, I have strong reservations about her. One more mistake and she'll have to be dropped. Well, we'll just do our best, sir. I'm sure. It's time for the afternoon feeding, Mr. Howell. Yes, sir. And thanks again. the new dogs move out of quarantine and into their training quarters. And we spend the first couple of days just getting used to each other. I have to learn all about them, their temperament and individual characteristics. The best way to get the most out of them. Robin is pretty easy to figure. All she wants is attention and affection. Kelly, come on. But right now, there's no room in Kelly's life for anyone but a young boy. And it's going to be a job to crowd him out. I have to make all the moves. I'm the only one who feeds her. I even prepare the food myself so she gets only my scent. Oh, come on now. That's real good stuff. Come on now. 
Kelly, come on. She has to learn to depend on me. And trust me. Had a girl, Kelly. When it finally happens, it may only be the slightest gesture on her part, but it's the first step in the right direction. She's beginning to accept me as a friend. Kelly, come. Kelly, sit. Good girl, good girl, yeah. Kelly, down. Good girl, good girl. Kelly, sit. Good girl, good girl. Okay, Kelly, stay. Kelly, come. Kelly, sit. There the girl. All right, that'll do it. Oh, very good, Mr. Howell. Thank you, sir. The dog show promise, especially the uh, Labrador. Yeah, she's ready for town. Well, how about Kelly? She did fine. Maybe too well. As if the lessons were too easy for her. Well, there's nothing wrong with that, is there, sir? Easily learned, easily forgotten, Mr. Howell. She enjoys the work now. It's fresh and new to her. But when it becomes dull and repetitious... And you don't feel she's ready for town yet? Do you? Oh, yes, sir. Well, on the basis of what she's just shown us, I'm afraid I have to agree with you. But if she hasn't forgotten the boy... Oh, she has, sir. Your responsibility, Mr. Howell. You can begin training as soon as they're accustomed to the harnesses. Yes, sir. And thank you, sir. You keep thanking me, Mr. Howell. I hope you're not being premature. As soon as you finish, I'd like to ask you something. Hey, well, go ahead. He'll be all night. Now, you've been here a lot longer than I have. Have you ever seen Mr. Duran sort of pick on a dog, take a dislike to it for no reason? No. Nope. I can't say I have. Well, how about you, Gruber? Have you ever heard Duran pick you on a... mind? Listen, give up, will you? Why? Any trouble? I don't see any, but he's so down on Kelly for no reason at all. Kelly, the shepherd that ran away. Yeah, that looks like she'll never live it down either. She been working all right? Perfectly. Well, there was a problem for a while. You know, as usual, she couldn't forget the boy, but I got that look now I'm positive. And what are you worried about? I don't know. MacGyver, I'm ready. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Howell? Yeah. Word of advice. Durant never does anything for no reason at all. Thank you. Check. And mate. Hi, Kelly. How's my girl? Are you really my girl? Huh? Come on. Yeah, I know. Funny time for a workout, isn't it? But we need it. Both of us. I didn't notice it before, but Kelly's attention seems to be wandering. I just can't figure it out. I 
get it. The gate. She remembers it. That's where she ran away. Beyond that gate lies freedom and the chance to rejoin Danny. Well, this is a matter we're going to have to settle once and for all. But I know I must let her decide. Kelly, come. Come to me. Come on, girl. That's the way. Yeah, good girl. It helps to know that Kelly is with me because now new lessons, a new schedule, and new surroundings. to Morristown, where we begin the actual seeing eye training. The classrooms are the city streets, but this definitely is a school of experience. One of the first lessons Kelly must learn is how to handle sidewalks and curbs. And to make the point clear for her, I have to pretend I'm a blind man. To her, of course, a curb is nothing, just a simple step up or down. But for me, playing her blind master, she has to learn to stop and wait till I can locate it before proceeding. We go back and start over. Repetition is part of the pattern. I can practically count on the fact that she will overshoot the mark again. And so I exaggerate my fall. Fooey, I say. The word sounds unfriendly, and she wants to please me, so she asks herself, what have I done wrong? Very quickly, she senses that curbs, for some strange reason, are a problem for me. She reassures me, and I, in turn, reward her with affection. Next time, she plays it safe and stops well back. She's learning, maybe a little too fast. But now she must be taught to lead me right to the edge before stopping. Every time she does it right, I praise her. a girl, Kelly. And this is what she wants most of all. The next phase is to walk the problem in reverse. that a cat distracted her is no excuse. Cats are curves. She must learn to pay attention at all times. Now she remembers. She lets me find the curb with my foot, and we do it right. Gradually, she gets it down to a fine art. And I'm pleased with her progress. Next comes the matter of crossing the street in traffic. Now I must teach her to use judgment and her own instinctive sense of safety. Curb she has learned well, but what about the middle of the street? By prearrangement, a car crowds close. I bang on the fender, and this frightens her and she sensibly decides these noisy contraptions are things to be avoided. We demand a lot of a seeing-eye dog, very often in the area of almost human judgment. An important lesson is this one, how to spot overhanging objects, a tree limb, an awning, a clothesline that might harm the master. Kelly must always know when to go around. Today, Kelly must go around on her own because I'm taking the blindfold test with Mr. Duran. Today, Kelly must demonstrate what I've taught her. 
For the first time, she's expected to be a seeing-eye dog. Mr. Durand isn't making it easy for us. He's testing us thoroughly with special problems. The more or less routine checkups came earlier with my training supervisor. But now, Mr. Duran wants to know if Kelly can handle a completely unexpected situation. my path, half blocking my way, I know that there's something out of the ordinary ahead. She can't tell me what it is. She can only tell me it's there. But once I know the size and shape of the problem, the rest is easy. minor faults, but nothing that can't be corrected with a little work. No, on the whole, she performed exceedingly well. Far better than I expected. Yeah, she licked her problem, sir. The boy? Yeah. But she wouldn't have done it without your help, Mr. Howell. Very well. Continue on the regular schedule. Hey, come on, Kelly, come on. She'll be tested again in a month or so. Anytime, sir. You know, Mr. Howell, I get the impression you'd like nothing better than to make me eat my words about this dog. Well, well... <sighs> well, if I must, I assure you it'll be a most satisfactory meal. Come on, Kelly. Next comes some of the finer points. In certain areas, dogs riding on public conveyances must be muzzled, and so Kelly is taught to live with this regulation. Her purpose is to help a blind person lead a near normal life, and that means traveling on buses and trains. It means going shopping and stores and going to market. It means using things like revolving doors and elevators. I take turns with my dogs, Kelly one trip, Robin the next. And day by day, they keep getting better and better. Robin and Kelly, two of the best. That's what I think. But of course, more important is what Mr. Duran thinks. Hey, how goes it? OK so far. Come on, Kelly. Hey, what's the idea? Weren't you out with her already? Well, she can use the work. And Mr. Duran's testing her again next week. Well, from what I've seen of her, you're just gilding the lily. She couldn't do any better if she could talk. See you back at school. Come on. Maybe McIver's right. Kelly's been doing beautifully. She's ready for that test right now. Watch it, girl. That's strange. Kelly hasn't overrun a curb and I don't know how long. I wonder what's the matter. That ought to be automatic by now. What distracted her? Maybe she's not as ready as I thought. Ask me to tell you, he's scheduling tests for both your dogs day after tomorrow. So soon? Well, two of Gruber's dogs are sick. New class coming in at the end of the week, and if your dogs are ready, Mr. Duran wants them as replacements. Oh. Okay. 
Hey, don't go out of your mind. Huh? This is what you've been waiting for, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, how about one small hooray, or at least a jump for joy, huh? Hey, Matt. If your dogs aren't ready yet, just... They're ready. Don't. Everything will be just fine. Looks like I'm no better off than when I started. Kelly's working perfectly. Maybe I'm making too much of a couple of small mistakes. That can't be it. Why should a school bus distract her? Kelly, hop up. Up. Kelly, sit. Sit. Kelly! Hi, Kelly! So that's it. That bus, to her, means Danny Richards. She hasn't forgotten. Well, I asked for it. I wanted to know why. Now I'm worse off than before. Kelly, right. And that's what it was every time. A school bus distracted her. You've been working Kelly in town three months. Why should they upset her now, all of a sudden? They've just started running again. A uh, fall term opened last week. That's right. And I told you Danny Richards, the boy who raised her, he was on one of them. When she lived with Danny on the farm, she probably saw him ride a school bus every day, so now she associates buses with him. It's lucky you saw him or you still wouldn't know. Lucky? At heart, she's still Danny's dog. That's why she kept watching the buses. She was looking for him. No, not necessarily. Could have been like an old memory, that's all. And it might fade out altogether with time. Well, buses aren't the problem. It's the boy, Danny. And he's no old memory. He's real. The test is tomorrow. What are you going to tell Durand? Nothing. Maybe I can still work this out with Kelly. I just asked for a postponement. Durand is going to want to know why. Especially since you've been pushing for it. Yeah. Me and my big mouth. Well, I just have to take my chances, that's all. If I time it right and work Kelly before school gets out, maybe she won't see a bus. Or Danny. What'll that prove? She'll pass the test. How? What? What about them? They're not interested in tests. They just want a dog they can depend on. If Kelly isn't ready for you, is she ready for them? That, I'd say, was check and mate. Mr. Owl, are you taking any particular route? No, I thought I'd just freelance. As you wish. Come. You're facing north now toward Park Place. So whenever you wish. Oh, Mr. Durant? Yes? If she doesn't check out perfectly, I mean, if she just makes a couple of mistakes, she can be held over for another class, can't she? Well, that depends on whether they're simply mistakes or basic faults. Kelly, forward. I decided this morning I'd give Kelly the toughest workout a guide dog ever had. Crowds, heavy traffic, any and every challenge I could find. That would make up for not exposing her to a school bus or Danny Richards. I make it a point to head for the railroad station, one of the toughest problems in town. It's as though the place were designed on purpose to test a seeing eye dog. Up, up. We work here simply because it's so difficult, and because many of our blind students must commute to their jobs from stations just like this. 
In other words, Kelly must know how to cope with it. To test her, I move to the edge of the platform. On seeing the train, Kelly decides we're too close. My safety is her first concern, and her judgment has been excellent. There are times in the training of a seeing eye dog when we seem to be running an obstacle course. And to tell the truth, we are. This time it's Kelly who tells me by her behavior that the obstacle is there. School's out. I could still duck the school and Mr. Duran would never know. How about I would? And how do I prove Kelly's as good as I think she is if I don't give her a fair chance? Lost your bearings, Mr. Howell? No, sir. I was just trying to decide which way to go from here. Well, straight ahead leads to the school or left will take you back to Washington Street. Yes, I know. Kelly, forward. I should have my head examined. If we run into Danny Richards, how can I expect Kelly not to go to him? Or want to stay with him? It's asking the impossible. Up, up. This is a very important test, Danny, and we have to keep going. Oh, sure. Sorry if I did something wrong. Oh, no, it's all right. Well, so long, Kelly. You do good now, here. such a difficult test. Well, she got off on the wrong foot when we started training. Guess I just wanted to make up for it. But you seemed so worried when you began. Were you afraid she might fail? Well, there were a couple of shaky minutes. Yes, the situation at the school was unusual, but well, she carried it off well. well. The boy distracted her. Of course. Called her by name. Naturally, she responded. Well, that won't count against her then, will it? She stayed right by your side, didn't she? Obeyed your commands? Yes, sir. What more can you ask? She'll face this with a blind master also. People will pet her, make a fuss over her. Of course, they shouldn't, but some people can't seem to resist. She's learning not to be upset by it. But if you were concerned, why did you go past the school? I had to be sure about something. Had to be sure about the boy? Yes, sir. I had to know whether Kelly was my dog or his. I understand. We ask a great deal of these dogs. But 
You've done your job well. Kelly's loyalty was certainly all yours. Yeah, thank you, sir. She's a great dog. Well, that I grant. You'll remember my earlier reservations about her. Yeah, afraid so. That's what made the school test so important. There's something perhaps I should tell you, Mr. Howell. Danny Richards called me yesterday. He did? Yes, he called to ask for another puppy. Oh. He also mentioned that he'd seen you and Kelly on the street. You knew all the time? I'm certainly glad you decided to go past the school, Mr. Howell. So am I. It's a good feeling knowing I have Mr. Duran's approval. That means a lot. But I think I'm proud of Kelly most of all. And suddenly I remember. This is the day the blind students arrive to begin their training. That means a whole new scheme of things. It means that one of these strangers will soon have Kelly. Just which one is pretty much up to Mr. Duran. And I'm, I'm sure he's sizing up the new candidates even now as he goes over to welcome them. I find myself sort of half envious. Who will it be? And I realize it doesn't really matter who. What's more important to me and Kelly is that I'm about to lose her. And she's about to lose me. And this will be the second time that she's lost her master. Ah, uh, Kelly girl, do you think you can do it? Forget me and learn to love somebody else? But I know you managed somehow. And I'll never forget you, not as long as I live. What do you want me to tell you, Mr. Williams? The dog made my life the same as it was before? I can see again? Oh, no, of course not. It's just that they said everything would be better. In the world of a blind person, any ray of light can be a miracle. You are bigger than Denny. I guess you won't be able to use her harness. And for Evan Clayton, it's hard to forget a miracle named Jenny. What happened? Oh, I bumped into some kid's bike. The dog didn't leave me around it. She tried, Mr. Clayton. On our next program, Kelly must meet her destiny. But without trust and love, it's the toughest adjustment yet. And then, a crisis in the lives of man and dog gives both of them a chance for a new miracle. A dramatic story of light in a darkened corner of the world. Next time in Atta Girl Kelly on The Wonderful World of Disney. <laughs>